Hey guys, today I have a review for you. This will be my first review on my channel. I am reviewing the new Crayola Beauty Mermaid Palette. Looks like this. So let's open it up and see what it looks like in the inside. There's the back of it and the front. And here are the colors. I'm not sure what kind of look I'm going to do yet, but I'm excited to start. So I got this palette from a friend from work. She actually is the one who bought it and she let me borrow it for this review. So that's what I am doing today. So shout out to you, Amanda, for letting me use your palette for this review. So I've already done my face makeup, obviously, and I've primed my eyelids and I'm just going to jump right on into the eyeshadow. Okay, so I need a transition color. These are all shimmery shades. So I don't really have any matte shades to use in my transition. So we're just gonna try it. I'm going to first go in with this shade, the natural kind of color. Let's see what this does. It's actually not bad. That blended out really well. I'm not mad at it. Blended out pretty good. I actually think that I want to do a halo type eye look. I've not done one of those on my channel yet so we will see how it goes to both of these shades and I'm going to mix those and apply them into the crease as well It's pretty. Then I'm just gonna blend that out. So now I'm taking my Morphe M433 brush and I think I'm going to go into the purple shade. It's not very pigmented for the purple. Get in there. I'm going to blend that out before it starts getting too messy. I'm going to go back in with that first shade and blend that out a little bit. So there's a little bit of fallout, so I'm just going to brush that away. Nothing too crazy, and I feel like that purple is like gone. So let's try to intensify that a little bit with a smaller brush. This is the Mikasa Beauty E310 brush.
for some reason it's not wanting to stick on the outer corners so I'm just gonna leave it as is and blend out the rest of the purple on the inner corner I'm going back in with that first shade and just gonna try to blend that out a little bit this side's a lot more pigmented which is weird I feel like this side's just not picking up any eyeshadow into the crease at all it's weird Yeah, that side's not picking up any eyeshadow whatsoever. Okay, so we're moving on. I'm gonna take this shade right here and apply that in the center of my eyelid. Okay, so I think I'm gonna try taking that darker gray in the palette and blending that on the outer corner and seeing if that does anything. This one right here. Yeah, I like that much better. So I'm going to throw on some eyeliner. I'm going to use my NYX Matte Black Liquid Liner and just do a small wing. We'll see how it goes. Well, there is a small winged eyeliner. I'm going to apply my Maybelline the Rocket Mascara. I love this mascara, guys. Now I'm going to take some of those blue shades and apply them to the lower lash line. I think I'm going to take this darker one first and then blend it out with this shade. Now I'm taking that lighter blue. I like it. Let's put on some mascara and eyeliner. And for the inner corner highlights, I'm going to take this shade. That's pretty. I really like that inner corner highlight. That's actually really pretty. And there's not really a brow bone highlight in this palette. Mary Luminizer by The Bomb. Looks like that. It's the highlight that I'm wearing on my face right now. I think it came out really pretty and kind of like a natural color. I am going to do some swatches. So I used every single color in this palette except for this one. I just didn't have anywhere to put it, but yeah, I used every single color in this palette. So we'll go from this side. So there's the first three. Middle row. They're actually pretty buttery when you swatch them. That's pretty good swatches. Just kind of sheer out when they get on the eyelid. Those came off pretty easy. So definitely use a primer on your eyes if you are going to be purchasing this palette. 
So my final thoughts for this palette is I'm kind of iffy about it. I do love the color scheme. I wish they would have included a couple matte shades to apply into the crease, but they did blend out pretty well. I didn't think they were terrible, terrible, but some of the colors did not blend out as well as most of them. The purple didn't blend out that well and this shade definitely helped the outer corner look not so chalky I guess um, so yeah this palette is not terrible but if you're just starting out in makeup I feel like if you want to just start in some neutral colorful shades I would definitely give this palette a try if you are into those kind of shades but if you are someone that is more experienced with more colorful pigmented eyeshadows you're probably not going to pick this up in your kit as much but yeah so that's my final review and this is the mermaid palette yay yo that's about it